All right. So I don't know. I I didn't want to do like a full reaction again or like a the highlights of Death Noodles is roast battle number two because I didn't want to put you guys into that form of torture. And uh, I'm just gonna go in and react to Death Noodles uh subreddit, and uh, I'm gonna be looking at their his top. Uh, post to see if there's any kind of like I don't know like any residual downfall from what escalated that night of the second uh Rose Battles when he pushed that uh comedian YouTube comedian or something like that. I don't even know who he is Salvo Pancakes I actually saw him live on uh his stream and Right when I got, a, you know, on his stream, he started to talk about the women that he could date based on their BMI. The guy's pretty edgy and he seems like a troll. But, you know, what Death Noodles did that day was really unjustified. And I saw him talking about, you know, why he did it because he said that. Uh, Salvo was pan. Uh, Salvo Pancakes was planning to make a a riot, like from all the all the people that he I I guess because he supposedly he bought all these tickets for all these people, and that's why you saw a much larger crowd in Death Noodles' uh stand up uh, roast battle show, and then we found out later that that uh. That venue he uses, or like his office, or whatever he wants to call it, is uh, being illegally rent and you know run. So he's also not, you know, supposed to be doing that. And he's also selling alcohol, which he's not allowed to sell alcohol. So it's kind of a weird thing. And he's just saying, you know, I don't think he actually said anything about it. Um, what? Because I saw him. On his YouTube, uh, what was it? Um, Death Noodles. My, uh, where is this? We're lost in the middle of the fucking desert. My like, yeah, this this is five, the episode. four, three. Yeah, like from from that podcast, it was just horrible. Like. Well, there was this one guy that said that, you know, you guys are not even funny, like not even funny in a podcast. And he's like, oh, man, and I get so sick of people telling us to like. Tell, you know, hey, tell a joke, comedian, because you're a comedian. And it's like the same of saying like, hey, you know, uh, start, uh, you know, you're a cook, start cooking or something like that. Stupid. But it's like, you know. To not be funny in a podcast where you can just say whatever you want is kind of ridiculous. Unless you're trying to make it all serious and stuff. But he's supposed to be this comedian guy and he just can't say anything funny. Let's see so some of these. Um, you said that Salvo wanted that drink thrown at him, which is assault. What's this? You want to respond. Jerry Springer type of moment. Exactly. And that's what I said. Like he doesn't have any skill set or ability. His only job was to offset the show. Yeah. How can I be disruptive with the show? Because the moment that he had the mic, he fucking froze. Yeah. He had nothing to say. He had nothing to do. And it was wild too. Because me, Niles, and uh, <laughs> shit. Who else did we come with? We came with another friend. We pulled up here to the show. But um. Oh my gosh! When we pulled up, it was oh oh John. That's right. We came with John. So me when me Niles and John pulled up, yeah, it was like the building was on fire. We yeah. left the improv and we just got offered to do another show in Utah. Shout out to Utah. We'll be out in Utah in October. Yeah. So if you're out in Utah, we'll be there in this October. We're doing a show on the twenty second. Yeah. And after I do the set at the improv, we meet a guy who's blind and was like, "Yo, I want you guys to do my." showing utah yeah we're talking we're excited meanwhile we have to get here you know yeah. so it's like going through it and then arthur calls me 
and Arthur looks like he's in the Blair Witch Project. Yeah. Like, we just had this exciting moment where I just have maybe my top five best set of the year. Yeah. And then we get a phone call from Arthur, and he's in the FaceTime. He's like, bro, this <laughs> shit is all fucked up. You got to look like it. Yeah, it that's what like people framed it like. Was, yeah. If he was getting ready yeah. to perform, and that's yeah. not what was happening. Well, that's clearly people who haven't done their homework, haven't researched anything. If it, they had cared, and this just goes to show you, folks, that most people are not looking at our side. They didn't even watch the roast to know what actually happened. So I'll explain it again. It really don't matter. It like, doesn't matter because they'll run we wherever. Part of the Civil War to know exactly how it unfolded. Yeah, <laughs> you know? it's yeah, just the like truth whoever. Is it was there to fucking put the books together. The winner <laughs> writes the, the story, essentially. Yeah, mm -hmm. writes the history books. So the essentially, we, we were trying to get the show started. That was at the very beginning of the show. He stayed there. Like, as I said, he, people had already removed him from stage several times. I just got out. Shouldn't have done that, like I said, but ended up doing it. And then what ended up happening is, um, you know, he was there for the duration of the show. He was there sitting there for an hour and 30 minutes for the rest of the show and then he eventually got the mic, and he fucking choked. He got heckled, had no roast jokes, just said a bunch of hack shit, and right. sucked. He sucked. He fucking bombed, okay? He tried to do a commentary video yeah. in real life. In real life. He said, I have no roast jokes. I'm just going to talk for an hour. And like Everybody started like, it. boo. That ain't it. He couldn't take it. Uh, so, yeah. Anyway. Let's see what else this dumb motherfucker has to say. By the way, Crybaby, bro. I did, that, did that actually happen? I don't remember that happening in the show. We're lost in the middle. We, we just had a guy try to break the entire building. This is how hype you guys are? Come on, bro, please. LA, are you ready? LA, are you ready? Five eight, bro. Come on, let's be real. <laughs> Five, eight inches inside of your Yes, I am. Yes, I am. Yeah, tell them nobody's shaming. They said the real judge you had. Okay. Everybody who won their battle, fellas, okay? All right, where are all the mics? We got all the mics? You got he was, he was threatening the whole club. Oh, my gosh. What are you talking about? You can't breathe. So, what a shit show here. Like, we're trying to go back to where he pushed them, and it seems like, uh, can't even hear the audio. Hello. Hello. No, this is great. Uh, we're going to drop a ticket link. <laughs> what the hell was that? And now they cut out the audio again. Still no audio. Why, why are they cutting off the audio? They were so innocent. Look, I, I get them cutting where he pushes uh, Salvo because that's uh, against YouTube and stuff, so I can see that, but is this before or after? Okay, they still cut the audio. How can we see for ourselves if the audio's cut and we don't have an explanation of what happened here? So I I want to take a moment. I want to take a moment. I want to take a moment right now, and I want to thank Salvo. Yo, Corey, Corey, let's let's get the show moving. We're so close to finishing it. There you go. We cut the audio. Okay, we gotta finish the show, folks. Okay. 
So I want to take a moment right now, and I want to thank Salvo for coming over here. Corey, Corey, please. I was going to check Reddit, but then I saw Folks, this. is more interesting. We are not Sorry, gonna guys. Get out of here. We're not going to finish this if this keeps going. Okay, Corey, please. Corey. Please, Corey. Okay. Whew. Okay. All right. This is a. This is That's right, man. What the? It's such chaos, dude. You. Like chaos. Okay. Cuts the audio. Uh, yeah. So I just want to take a moment. Talking about the the victors, you know, and the in the war and stuff, and this guy completely wants to shush everybody. I I I really want to get this out. Okay. I need your name. I'm going to sue you. I, uh, folks, this is crazy. <laughs> okay. Who's the victor in this situation, though? Who who really won in this? And everybody, I think mostly everybody will say it's Salvo. It made him look like a complete victim. Death Noodles is just a dummy for doing that. Such a dumb move, especially since you're the owner. And then there's a bunch of cameras there, and then you're on YouTube, and you're on Twitch, or wherever you're streaming it from. Completely everybody finds that. Or, you know, they record it and it's never going to be removed from, uh, from, uh, you know, the internet. Okay. All right. All right, folks, settle down. Settle down, please. Everybody settle down. I appreciate it. Okay. Okay, I'm I'm trying to. All right. So I wanted to take a moment right now. Wow. And thanks, Salvo, for coming out here. Salvo, please. This is your moment to shine, bro. You've been waiting this whole time. So peeing on himself? You'll get your mic. I have to be able to get this shit out. Otherwise, it's not going to happen. He's not going to give him the mic. He's not going to give him the mic. Okay. He doesn't want that roast this is, battle. This is this is what I want to do. Or next, so you can roast him afterwards. We're almost done, okay? So, uh, by the way, shout out to security. Thank you so much, security, for working today. Dave. Dave's the homie. Okay. Shout out to uh, Ray, the EMT. Uh, you ain't seen nothing. <laughs> yeah. That nervous right. laugh. So this is, I want to thank everybody for coming out. I want to thank Salvo for coming all the way out from Cleveland, Ohio to be on the show. It's very special for somebody to fly across the country, pay for their stay, to come and be on a stage. Unpaid. He just really wanted to be on the stage, folks. So, anybody at home, if you want to be on this stage, you could be on this stage as well. It's very obvious that Salvo absolutely loves me. He can't stop making videos about me. He can't stop talking about me. He right, right, had right. all of his fans. He had all of his fans come It's out. almost like if Death Noodles never did the same to any other content creator, right? Wow. That, you know, very much acting brand new. 
Things he's never done the same thing, you know. I support because that's how much you support me, and I really appreciate it. I'm doing it bro. too. You're a really good guy at the end of the day. Unfortunately, because of how insane you've been so far, I can't just give you the mic. I'm being told by my friends who are experienced comics to not let you talk. So. Ooh. That's a big boo, though. Let's, I mean, let's see. Dave, 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 what do you think? Should Sal Denying his freedom of speech. In California, too? Mm-mm. get it? <laughs> Hollywood? TJ, TJ, should Salvo, should Salvo get it? She, TJ, should Salvo get it? Nah. Ernesto, should Salvo... Uh, like, I don't even like Salvo. Just ba basing off of what I've seen from him, he's a total goofball, too, you know? Salvo get it? I think Salvo should put on his own show, and then he can get a mic that way. What do you think? Hold up, hold up. I'm doing, I'm doing a, a let's see your security guard. What do you think Salo should get it? You back, you back this, you back your man? You back your man? Censorship. This is censorship. Let's, let's walk into the end. Uh, That's the Salvo's bodyguard right there. That's his bodyguard. What did you say? And nobody can hear you if you keep yelling, and this is going to ke keep happening. Why not? Why not? Yeah, you tell me. I don't know. I'm get a mic? You don't know? Should Salvo get a mic? Yes. Yes. Should Salvo get a mic? Give him the mic. Give the mic? Should Salvo... He ain't going to give the mic. He ain't going to give it. He's just playing now. He wanted so bad? Should Salvo, should Salvo get a mic? Uh, Dennis, I love you, but yes. Also, I feel like Salvo pissed himself. Salvo what? Piss himself. Oh, you think so? Yeah, it does look like he pissed oh himself. Oh my god. Uh, should let's get a mic? Should Salvo? The, the the back's been kind of rowdy over here. You think Salvo should get a mic? Death yeah. noodles and him were supposed to Fuck roast Death battle. Fuck Death noodles. All right, should Salvo get a mic? Yeah. Okay. All right. Why do you think? Why do you think Salvo should get a mic? Why do you? Buddy, why do you think Salvo should get a mic? Yeah. You're supposed to say jokes. Yeah, they made, made some good points. Made some good points. I don't know. Should Salvo get a mic? Chat. One, if Salvo should get a mic. Two, if Salvo should not get a mic. Tell me right now. The chat's gonna. The, the, the chat's gonna tell us. The chat's gonna tell us. The chat is gonna decide. Let's see. One. One for Salvo. Yeah. Getting Death the mic. Noodles Two is for chat. Salvo not getting the mic. Let's see. Let's see what the chat says. Very biased. Let's, Let's see. see. One. We got a few ones. Some twos. Got a few ones. Oh, yeah. Got a few ones. Got threes. Got twos. What do you think? Come on. That's right. Why do you think you should have the mic? <laughs> Come on, dude. No, but seriously, no, no, I, I just want to, I just want to. Wow. I'm going to take you back to that video, too. I just want to. This is ridiculous what this is doing. People are being kicked out right now, by the way. And I can't get the fucking mic because Dennis Noodles is YouTube's biggest fucking pussy. Okay. I see, I see the one. I see the one. Yeah. Hey. This is just a survey. It's just a survey. It's just giving the mic. Doesn't want to use, let him use the microphone, man. What the hell? You invite some? You invite anybody? Put up or shut up? And all he does is try to just shut up, people. Will he do it with somebody else? Who's not as controversial as this dude on three fuck death noodles 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 really right when i join in serve my drinks bitch listen i'm not gonna stand up here like every other hack comedian, comedian LARPer that is playing the Joe Rogan 
experience with the fake Joe Rogan, get on the podcast, act like they're real comedians. I'm not gonna do that. So I'm gonna monologue for about an hour about how fucking pathetic this grown man really is. Dennis Noodles, Dennis Fatozo, is a 40 year old man. He lied about his age. Yo, he's not. Yes, he is. I like how Death Lunas is not saying Evan. Wait. I had to deal with this the whole show. You're complaining? You're, no, hold up. You're complaining about a little bit of heckling? <laughs> I had to deal with this the whole show. Dennis Noodles is the only person that is able to have everybody on the internet fucking hate him. The gays hate him. The commentary pros hate him. The gays hate him? Rich Lux, the Adam Kid, the Augie, the Papa Gut, the the D- Diorio Kid, uh, maybe Keemstar. I don't know. Wait, what do you say though? Wait, wait. Everybody fucking hates him. But not only that. Not only that. Dennis Noodles. Dennis Noodles told everybody that he's a real comedian. And last and last Friday. Last Friday he got on stage and didn't say one fucking joke. He didn't say one fucking joke. And he's gonna stand up here. That's true. What the heck? I don't know the security was running the show like that. And I only showed you the last bit because I honestly, I did not watch the, the comedy part in this because I thought it was going to be terrible. But look, I don't know. Maybe I should just stop it right here. I'm almost like 20 minutes. Uh, I was going to do like a, like a Reddit, a subreddit look at, but fuck. I mean, it's been too long already. I'll see you guys next time. Um. Do these reactions a little bit more you know so uh thank you guys see you guys later subscribe i'm out